Uh, today I'm going to make a pair of clamshell boxes, but I'm going to show you a finished one first so you see where we're going. This is the way I build them. Uh, there's a small tray that fits the book exactly. There's a spine strip which completes the fourth side of the tray. And then there's a large tray which will close over the first one. It's all held together by a simple case like this. There are three pieces to the, uh, well, four pieces. There's the case, the small tray, the large tray, and the spine strip. So uh, to start, I have the order and I don't have a book. So what I've done is I've cut a format for the uh, size of the box that we're going to be making. These are the instructions here with the, uh, the sizes of the book that I don't have in hand. I'm using 90 point board to make these uh, boxes which are approximately 9 by 12 and they'll be about uh, two and a half inches deep. So uh, with a new board, the first thing I'm going to do is mark the grain with pencil lines like this so that I you know, know, even with my scraps, which way the grain is going. I want the grain of the side pieces, that is the sides of the tray, to be running parallel to the base, not vertically. So I'm going to take the board. It's a new board. So I have to trim off the edge first. Always cut your shortest cut first to make sure you've squared the board. And what I'm going to do now is cut off a thin strip because I have to make a gauge. And I usually make a gauge for each box as I go through so that each box has its own gauge with its own, uh, its own board thickness. So then as I cut off a piece about an inch and what I want to do is have uh, one board longer than the other and then I'll glue these together. With a little roller here, like that. And with this, I get a double thickness and a single thickness. The next thing we do with the gauge uh, especially if you have a thick fabric that you're going to be covering the trays with, is to cut a small piece of the covering material and then we'll glue that and wrap that around the gauge. I'll do that and be right back. I've covered the, uh, the gauge and uh, I have my maquette, so now I can make the first cuts for making the small tray. The small tray has to be built as if you were going to put up four walls, even though we're only putting up three. So uh, in order to accommodate the, the book in this format, I'm going to take the double thickness part of the gauge and mark this in the center, like this. And then I'm going to slide this down, turn the board at a right angle. everything up against the, uh, the stop on the board chair here. And I'm also going to put two thicknesses here and mark with a pencil. So now I can make my first cuts. And what I like to do, you know, with these boxes is, uh, especially since I don't have the book in hand, is give this a little bit more generous space inside. So when I cut the boards, I'm going to cut it so that the pencil line stays completely on the board. And since I'm making two of these trays and I need sides out of this piece as well, I'm going to cut two of these. So I'll set my gauge bring the knife down halfway, 
mark this. Cut a second board. Okay, now cut the bottom of the second cut, also leaving the pencil line on. It's always better for the box to be just a little bit too big than to be so small you can't get the book in it. two bases and the sides of the box have to be two and a half inches high so that's an inside dimension I won't need to use the gauge to figure that out I'll just mark it here with my marks on the board shear I'll set this at two and a half and from my off cuts I will cut three pieces I will, I have two of these for the four edges of the box, for the two trays, so I'll lay those down here with the four edges on them, and then I'll set the gauge again for the short side of the box. And tape that down. Now, because this is a three-sided box, uh, I have these, uh, these sides have to have one board's thickness removed from them on the side pieces. So I'll set these into the board shear here, take the forage, put that into the space between the gauge and the boards, and then I can cut these down. And I have the pieces for the head and the tail of the tray. Two sideboards, the four edge board, okay. and now we're ready to assemble. Okay, I have my box set up here with the little uh, right angle on the edge of my table, and here's the base of the first tray. Put some glue on it. And let's set this up. Then line this one. Press this in place, just nice and tight. And put this in place here. Now I'll carefully turn this over and let the glue set by putting some weights on it, like that, and do the next track.
doesn't quite line up right. important to make sure that all of your edges are, you know, meeting up, especially at the corner here and at the top over here. And you don't have any overhangs. Now, while this is drying, I'll cut the material that will go around the covering. Uh, generally, the formula is that you would use, I'd measure the outside dimension here, and you would cut a piece of fabric that is uh, two and a half times the height of this, this measurement. And it'll wrap around, leaving about an inch at each end. 